Hey everyone, it's Jeff. This week's topic is masculinity. Um, how we feel society pressures people to act a certain way or behave a certain way. Um, how we feel our masculinity is and what we even believe masculinity to be. Um, we'll start by saying that my beliefs on what masculinity is could differ from someone else's and that's okay. I believe that um, people's definitions of masculinity and femininity are completely subjective um, where if you believe that something you're doing is masculine um, then it's masculine. Uh, if you believe that what you are doing and saying is feminine then it's feminine. Um, it's all your own experience. Um, it's how you label things for yourself. Um, I don't like people labeling things um, for other people. Um, and so, <clears throat> I do feel like society has put people into a box, um, a kind of thing, where they're forcing people to act a certain way and to say certain things like, you're not a real man if you aren't dominant of your partner or that well they wouldn't even say partner they would say of your, of your girlfriend of your um girl and like all these things and i believe that um well one uh when jackson gave us the prompt for this week's topic um he left the definition that wikipedia has of masculinity as something along the lines of um characteristics or traits attributed to a man. Um, I think that you can be masculine and not be a man and you can be feminine and not be a woman. Like, not everyone is going to be the stereotypical um, lumberjack with huge beard and um, huge muscles and that kind of thing. Like the manly man who drinks beer and fishes and plays football and la da 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 um, that society puts in people's heads. Um, I'm going to be the first to admit that I did fall into the trap of society's pressure um, into acting a certain way or doing certain things uh, to be perceived as masculine. Um, when I was first starting to transition um, my first step was to cut my hair really short um, because I wanted to get rid of the um, image of me being a female with long hair and all this sort of thing which um, not every man has to have um, long hair or not everyone who is masculine uh, needs to have short hair that's what I'm trying to say um, and things that I do, um, or how I feel in my masculinity right now, um, I feel very comfortable. Um, I'm not completely one end of the spectrum or whatever. Um, cause that's what it is. It is a spectrum. It's, um, like masculinity here, femininity here, and then everyone following in between. Like, not, I believe that not one person in the world is completely one or the other um, because there are certain things that you do um, behavior wise and um, like certain things that you say um, on a day-to-day -day basis which could per be perceived as either feminine or masculine um, no matter what I know that um, for me I still have feminine traits based on how I was socialized. Um, I was socialized female and again not every female is feminine whatever but um, there are certain things that I still do um, like talking on the phone I have a very feminine like quality about myself because I was a secretary um, last summer and I picked up that habit. Um, the of 
answering the phones with a very cheery and high-pitched voice type thing. Um, so I'm still stuck in that habit when I'm at work and I have to answer the phone. Um, now, even though a year later I'm now on six months of testosterone and my voice is lowered, but I still have that sort of habit of the feminine like quality of my voice when I'm talking on the phone. Um, I also like things that are stereotypically fe feminine, like August um, mentioned theater. Um, I'm a huge, huge theater geek. Um, God, I musical theater especially. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many shows that I've seen. I've seen some Broadway stuff. I saw Wicked on the West End, um, which is amazing. Um, but I also like stereotypical masculine things and, um, but that doesn't make me inherently masculine or inherently feminine. Like, it's a spectrum of how you behave and how other people are going to perceive you. Um, so, I don't know, this topic I feel like I'm not educated enough to educate others about this, so I don't know if someone wants to comment um, their beliefs on masculinity and femininity, because I'm... I just... It makes me lean back a little bit. Um, because usually I'm like, oh yes, I know exactly what to say. But with this one, it really took me a while to even get myself to put a video out. Um, because I, I, I don't really know what to say about it. Um, because I don't want to upset anyone, um, on my, with my views. That's why I'm telling you that it's okay for you to have a differing view. Um, I'll respect yours and you respect mine, that kind of thing. Um.